Welcome to the June 2020 energy update. I'll do an oracle reading for what the energies are going to be, going to bring in, what the cards just want to tell us about this upcoming month of June. Um, when hopefully this whole lockdown thing starts to really dissipate and everybody can kind of get back to whatever the new normal is but at least be able to move around freely. Um, let's see if the cards talk to anything to do with that. Um, so stick around. Welcome, I'm Linda Armstrong. This is my YouTube channel. Um, I like to talk about all things to do with energy healing, spiritual awakening, really moving into your truth, living and loving your life. So that's my website, it's lovemylife.coach. And um, yeah, I like to talk about all things to help you to find ways of really loving your life. I mean, we're here, right? Let's love this life and let's live our life through this high vibration of love where all the possibilities open up, right? In these higher vibrations, all things are possible. So let's choose some cards to see, you know, what might be in store for us for this coming month of June. And let's see what we get here on this first card. Okay, I got upside down, first chakra, Archangel Michael. Hmm, number 35. So, you know, that first chakra is all about really stability, feeling secure, but it's also about manifesting, right? Uh, feeling your connection, your groundedness to this earth. Let's see. Let's see what it wants to say. Number 35. But it was reversed. And sometimes those reverse cards are like the best ever. So let's see what this one is. Okay, so it's all about stability and security. So in the reverse position, it says when this card shows up in a reverse position, you may be facing some significant challenges and even some very difficult emotions. Well, I'd say many of us are in that space right now. The energy in your first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your safety, feelings of insecurity, or even depression. Okay, so we know this pandemic has brought that on for, I have to say, just about everybody in one way or another. Maybe some more severe than others, but there's it brings it into a lot of question. Um so it says, this blocked energy could also signal financial worry or desperation. Issues of instability can shake you to your very core. So it's going to be important to get the energy moving freely through this chakra once again. Call upon Michael, Archangel Michael, for assistance and visualize his light and power filling this area and bringing you a greater sense of your own true strength and eternal stability. Meditate on the affirmation below and feel your sense of safety and balance return. All right, yeah, that's where we're gonna be. Getting back into that place of feeling stability and balance because everybody's been thrown off with this whole pandemic. Um, yeah, and some really severely affected by it. Of course, we know that, we see a lot of those stories. And some maybe, you know, Maybe their instability is not a financial thing, but maybe it's more to do with uh, relationships, right? Or who knows what? But really, it's affecting everybody in some way, shape, or form. And so our job is to be able to rise above that. So why don't we um, why don't we do a clearing for the root chakra? So let's see what wants to come. Okay, well, let's just, okay, so everything that would contribute to that root chakra being um, unbalanced or blocked or the energy stagnant in some way, we want to uncreate and destroy all of that times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. We just want to lift that energy, allow that movement to happen so you can feel this chakra going back into balance so let's also download right download from spirit what it feels like we're going to download this feeling into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you 
this feeling of having an open, balanced, free-flowing root chakra. And why stop there? Let's also ask for a healing, a clearing, to have this beautiful energy of the universe come into our bodies. Feel that energy moving through your body, moving through all of your chakras, balancing, harmonizing those chakras, feeling that energy go all the way down and out through your legs, down into the earth, taking any lower energies down into the earth to be transmuted back to pure positive energy, pure love energy. And now feeling that earth energy coming up through your feet, just, just allow for your imagination to take you there if you're not sure you can sense the energy, but I'm feeling it really strong, just pulling that earth energy up into your feet, up through your legs, your thighs, right? Going into your hips, coming up through all of those chakras, up through your spine, up and out through the top of your head. Right, and just allow yourself to feel this flow of energy coming from the heavens and from the earth, bringing in that balance, really allowing for you to start to expand your energy out. Yeah, and why don't we even just expand that energy out and imagine that this beautiful light, it's now forming this beautiful bubble around you of this pure love, this healing energy, this pure light. Feel that above you, beyond you, beneath you, around you, in every direction, just expanding out. And now being that many of us are very empathic and there's a lot of lower energies flying around out there, I invite you to just put, you can put a silver lining around your bubble so it reflects any way, anything away that is not love, it's reflected away. Or I like to put chain mail, you know that armor, chain mail, around my bubble so that only love can flow through. Love can flow through, nothing else. It's like, shh, not allowed. Lower energies are not allowed here. So just feeling this energy and, and allowing yourself to expand into it. So if you're somewhere where you can't really allow yourself to do that at this moment, watch this video again later on and just go with the energy because it's really flowing feels really good. I get high off of this stuff. I mean, it's the ultimate high, right? When you're channeling that pure love energy, that healing energy. That's why I love the work that I do so much. Okay, so let's go to um, the Enchanted Map. Whew. All right, so we're clearing out that root chakra, opening ourselves up to this balance and to feel stability again, right? To allow for all the possibilities. I just did a video on that. I'll, I'll link to it here in, in the cards, cards somewhere over here. Um, yeah. What would it feel like to, to walk through your day to day, having your chakras balance, being, having your energy feel open and receptive to all the good that wants to come, right? Well, let me download you with what it feels like to be impervious to those heavier, dense energies that others may be sending your way. Yeah, downloading what it feels like to be impervious to that, that cannot penetrate, cannot penetrate this beautiful light that you are. Because there's a lot of that. Well, even well-meaning people they call you up, they start putting all their fears on you. And why? If you're a person that gets calls like that, it's because without them even knowing it, they, they, <laughs> you take that, it's like you're doing a healing for them. You're taking that energy from them. So then after they say all that stuff to you and you do all what you say to try and assist them with that, they leave feeling great because you know it took it away. So if you're not aware of that you've just taken that energy, um, it could stay with you, right? So that's why we're building this beautiful bubble of light that is impervious to those energies, right? So they can just bounce off and go back out into the universe to be trans, uh, transformed back into pure love. 
Okay, that's what we're setting up there. That's the intention behind that download. Because the more you can be aware of when lower energies come in and be able to clear them, the, the easier everything gets. And that's the work I do. So if you can't do it for yourself, give me a call. All right. Intention. Number 22. Beautiful bird on there. Let's get that out of the light. Yeah. Number 22. Intention. I think that's probably going to be a perfect card. So let's see what it says. Deliberate. Cl deliberate. Clear intentions have the power to change your world. Yes. And that's what that last video was about too. We can create many possibilities, open ourselves up to it. We can change anything because we are creators. Sometimes we forget and we get sucked into some lower energies, but the good news is we can shift that and change that. So it says, your objectives will be fulfilled at this time. Inspired intention are like magic arrows shot into the sky. The universe is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting the mark recognize that you're not the one who has to do all the work however others you co-create others help you to co-create your reality you connect to the power of your intention sending it out into the field then allowing for synchronicity to work its magic perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. Boy, this really excites me because literally the video I shot right before this is, is exactly what we were doing in that video. We were deliberately intending, sending out questions to the universe. What else is possible, right? Um, opening ourselves up to receive that inspiration, right? To have that intuition, clear and open to be able to send out intentions of the magic and the possibilities that can come without having to try to figure it all out. I'm not going to go into that now. I already did that. It's on that video. So it's going to be linked up there. Um, well, <laughs> I just got a phone call in the middle of this video and it cut the video off. But luckily, I already finished talking about the card, the intention card that we received. Um, so I guess the universe was working with me in that sense in that I don't have to go back to that card. It was like right when I was going to switch to another card. Um, so, okay. Whoever it was that called me, sorry, couldn't come to it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to this uh, Trust Your Vibes. I'm going to end off this reading with Trust Your Vibes. So between those two cards, to me, it looks like, you know what? It's like the ball's in our court now, right? There is still this stuff going on in the world right now with the pandemic, but what do we want to do with that? How do we want to create? What possibilities do we want to open up for ourselves, right? What change, what new beginnings can start? How can I revamp the way I was doing things before and now do it in a better way? Oh, and it just says, make a note of it. Number 34. Well, make a note of it. Let's see what she means by that. This is Sonia Choquette's deck, and uh, I love all her decks. So make a note of it. She says, you may, be interse you may be intercepting vibrations from your guides regularly, but having the confidence to trust your vibes fully may still be a challenge. Ooh, this is a nice card because don't you want to be able to know, you're all getting messages from your guides, your angels, your intuition, your higher self is speaking to you in many different ways, but we don't always see it. And what a time now to be able to hear those messages that want to come through that will guide us through this craziness that we're living during this pandemic and this lockdown. So it says, don't worry. <laughs> Trusting your vibes takes time. With a little extra effort, however, you can accelerate the process and not miss a single golden nugget of the guidance from your higher self. The way to strengthen your confidence and better receive guidance is to carry a small notebook throughout the day and write down every vibe you get. And you could talk it into your phone. Like that's the easiest thing. I do that because a lot of times when I'm, when I'm driving, I get all this great inspiration 
and I may not remember it later on. I'll just talk it into my phone because you can't write anything down while you're driving, right? Um, so it says, yeah. So throughout the day, write down every vibe you get, no matter how subtle, including hunches, inspirations, bright ideas, wonderings, vague notions, and many others. You'll know if it's something to take note of, right? And then do it because it's so true. Like a lot of times, if I don't do that, and there are times when I don't do that because either I just forget to or well, I don't know why. <laughs> I must forget to. Um, and then later I'm like, oh, I had the greatest idea driving in today. What the heck was it? Can't remember it. So it's a good really reminder to talk it, to, to write it down or talk it into your phone, however it is you need to do that. So it says the more you write down your vibes, the more tuned into them you'll become. You'll also have a mass of concrete evidence that they're real, accurate, and trustworthy. This does wonders for your confidence and increases your psychic awareness at the same time. Try this for a week and see for yourself. Yeah, it's like when you're working out the same muscle over and over again. Um, besides the fact that it gets stronger, you're also creating a muscle memory of it, right? So you want to get in a good habit of jotting down the inspiration as it comes to you because you never know when you might need it. Because it, it doesn't always come in in like a perfect, perfect sequence. So it's like a dream journal. If you just write down things that came, even though it doesn't make any sense, if you look over a, like a couple of weeks worth, then you start to see there's a message within all of this, right? So, or some, or maybe an idea comes in that right now you're like, oh, I don't know what the heck that is. I don't know what to do with that. But it's there. You wrote it down or you have it on your memo, your voice memos. And then um, something maybe a couple of weeks later comes up and you're like, oh wait, I had, I, I had an idea or inspiration about something to do with that. What the heck was it? You can go back and look at it, right? Because maybe... The timing just wasn't exact, and, that, and it never is, right? Things have to fall into place and take note, but your higher self might throw you this piece of information. And it's like, well, that sounds really cool. I don't know what the heck to do with that. But then events change and happen because the universe is always, as long as you stay in the question of, oh, so here's this idea. How can I make that happen in my life? Or what do I need to do to get that to go into motion? Just ask a question. Next thing you know, a couple of weeks later, who knows, days later, months later, something happens and you're like oh i had a, I, they were, I had some inspiration on that what the heck was it you go back and you look at it you're like oh my god it's perfect i didn't know it back then but it's the perfect thing for right now yeah so i've been doing that i do that normally with those type of things now i'm putting that into my dreams i started working with dreams a while ago years ago actually when i was first getting into all the healing work i do then i kind of left it but now i'm getting back to it because I know that it's just another way to really get in tune with my higher knowing, with my higher self, so I can receive the messages and I can start having them to uh, make more sense to me so that I can actually implement them. Because sometimes they come in clear, do this, boom, done. But sometimes they're just vague little pieces. And you're not really quite sure what to do with them. Just keep them, just hold on to them. So I feel like this is a pretty inspirational reading during all that's going on right now, you know? Just maybe pay attention to your energy, right? To your, uh, do regular chakra clearings. I mean, there's lots of, I think I might even have one on my YouTube channel. If I don't, maybe I'll upload it. There's one that I send around to people on my email list every now and then um, that I do. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it onto a video if I haven't already done it. I have to look back, or anywhere. I mean, there's tons of them. There's tons of them. You can find it. So, pay attention, clearing your chakras, right? Um, as my video before this one, asking lots of questions. Be in that in the mode of the question of in of inviting the possibilities and the magic that can unfold for you, um, and setting your intention. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm moving into possibilities. I'm not getting stuck any longer in these lower vibes, into the fear. I'm not going to let the mass media bring me down. <laughs> no way. I haven't even listened to it. Um, yeah. And then uh, take note. Take note of what your higher self is. You know, this is you. You have this ability. You are psychic. Start tapping into those tools. Start working that muscle by taking note writing it down in the physical universe speaking it into your phone so that you can come back to it let's get into doing more of that um, all right i'm i'm jazzed 
Boy, I was in funky mood yesterday. I'm flying high today and I'm gonna stay with this energy. I love this reading and I will see you on another video. If you enjoyed this reading, please um, tell me below in a comment, share it, like the video, and uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again. Bye.